In this video, I'm going to show you how to install unsigned drivers in Windows 7 64 bit. Starting with Windows Vista 64 bit, Microsoft required that all drivers be digitally signed. So in this case, I want to install my i8K fan GUI utility, but it installs a driver. Since it's open source or freeware, the driver is not signed. So, how do we get around that? First, we're going to go and download our driver signature enforcement overrider from this site here. Here you'll see various info about it, but we're just going to get onto the bottom and we're going to click download. And then you'll see on this page, we're going to click agree. And you would just save the file, but I've already downloaded it, so we're just going to skip that part. And then we're going to go over here to the Dell <coughs> Inspiron Fan GUI utility. So this is a great app here. I use it on all my Dell laptops to manually control the fan and when it comes on and what the speed of it is. So this way they run a lot cooler. And now we're just going to scroll down here and go and click on the download link. And again, we're not going to save the file because I've already downloaded it, but you would just save it to wherever you want, your desktop, my documents, and then we're going to go and close all the windows. And we're going to restart. Now, Windows 7 64-bit has a feature built into it where you can disable the driver signing enforcement by pushing the F8 key on boot up just like you would do to enter safe mode. So that's what we're going to do here. Here's where you're going to hit the F8 key. And we're going to just scroll down to here. You have to use the keyboard to disable driver sig signature enforcement. And then just hit enter. Alright, so now that we're logged in, we're going to go to uh, my downloads folder where I save my files. And gonna, we're going to right click on the I8K utility, make sure we run it as an administrator, and hit yes. And it's basically going to be like a next, next, finish install. We're going to use all the defaults. Hit next. And then we're going to install. And now here is where it would normally bomb out because this is where it installs the fan IO driver <coughs> that's not signed. But since we're, uh, we're running under the disabled driver enforcement, it goes through smoothly, smoothly. And now we should still get an error saying that, there it is there, saying that we installed a driver that wasn't signed, but it did install, but it might not work correctly. And we're just going to go ahead and click close. Next, we're going to install our driver signature enforcement overrider. You're going to make sure you right click and run it as administrator on this one too. <coughs> you see it popped up in my bottom toolbar there. We're just going to hit next. Yes. And then here's our options for enabling test mode or signing a file. We're going to sign the system file right now. And you see we need the path for it. So you see our fanio.sys is located under Windows System32 Drivers. I'm going to copy this path and then paste it in there and hit OK. And it says successful and to make sure we enable test mode. So now we're going to enable test mode just by clicking that and hit next. And you'll see that it's successful that we have enabled uh, test mode. And we're going to hit OK. And now we have to reboot the computer.
All right, so as you can see in the bottom corner there, the zero zero means that our IAK fan GUI utility and the uh, drivers have successfully loaded without any errors. Um, you do notice the test mode in Windows 7 in the bottom right corner. Uh, here's our uh, fan GUI utility. And like I said, this is a great app for uh, managing the fans and uh, controlling the temperature on your Dell laptops. You have like an automatic control. You can set it to high. It gives you all the temperatures. Um, you can set when they come on and what speed they are when they do come on. And uh, you can change it to Fahrenheit here. Okay. Go back to that and you'll see that uh, the table now shows all Fahrenheit. <clears throat> I recommend turning mine on at uh, slow at 100 degrees and I'll turn it on high at 110 degrees. And uh, that's about it. Now uh, this will work on uh, any other drivers like uh, as you see on the uh, driver signature enforcement overrider video or uh, website that uh, they use it for the uh, ATI catalyst a lot. So anything open source or any kind of drivers that you need to sign, this should work. Uh, the only thing is though that you'll be stuck leaving it in that where it, in the bottom right corner where it says test mode Windows 7. Uh, to me, that doesn't really bother me all that much. So uh, uh, that's pretty much it though. I hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching.